Hey everyone, I'm diving straight into a major news story that's developing as we speak. A helicopter carrying none other than Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, along with top officials including the Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian, has made a hard landing in the rugged mountainous terrains of northwestern Iran. This isn't just a minor hiccup, folks. This event is stirring up a massive search and rescue operation under some pretty harsh conditions. The helicopter went down after an event near Iran's border with Azerbaijan, a region known not just for its scenic landscapes but also for its geopolitical sensitivity. Imagine this. The aircraft, carrying some of the highest-ranking officials in Iran, just crashes, sparking what could be termed a national crisis. Now here's where it gets intense. The search and rescue operation involves 20 teams, drones, and military support. They're battling not just the terrain but also poor weather conditions, which adds a layer of urgency to the rescue efforts. It's a race against time and nature. Iran's supreme leader Ali Khamenei took to social media urging the nation to pray for the safety of the president and his companions. He emphasizes that despite the uncertainty, the government will continue to function. This statement not only addresses the immediate concern but reassures the public and the international community that there is stability. But let's talk about the broader picture. This incident isn't just about a helicopter going down, it's a stark reminder of the inherent risks political figures face, especially in regions that are constantly under the microscope for geopolitical tensions. Today it's not just Iran that's on edge, it's potentially the entire international diplomatic sphere watching closely to see how this will unfold. As we wait for more updates, let's keep in mind the human aspect of this incident. Real people, leaders and officials are at the heart of this rescue operation. Their safety and the implications of this event are something we'll continue to monitor closely. Stay tuned, stay informed, and as always, let's hope for the safety and quick recovery of all involved. This wraps up today's urgent news update. Keep your notifications on for more as this story develops. Thanks for tuning in.